to create Spring Boot application in IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition, we need to click on New Project. And here under New Project Wizard, under Generators, we have this particular section called Spring Boot. We need to select this. Once we select this from start.spring.io, it generates all these options for us. By default, the name is demo. I'm going to change this. As I'm using the Ultimate Edition, I have named this application Spring Boot Demo hyphen Ultimate. Location, I'm going to select a particular directory where I want to store this project. Let me do that. Clicking on this browse. Selecting the directory where I want to place this project. Clicking on OK. Language should be Java. Type, I'm selecting Maven. Group ID, I'm keeping as is. Artifact ID remains as is. The package name, in this case, I'm keeping it as is. Now I can see the Java is 17 and in my system JDK 17 is available. If I check this drop down, the supported JDK version are 23, 21 and 17. Packaging, I'm clicking on jar, clicking on next. Here, Spring Boot version I can check. By default, these are the ones which are supported. I'm checking the lowest version 3.2.10 and I'm going to select few of the dependencies. For Spring Web, let me type MVC checking this one now on the right hand side it is showing this is what spring web does a brief detail if i select another one it will show whatever it does and at the bottom based on the dependencies we had it will show us i'm selecting this testing it is showing another one anyways we would just stick with spring web for the time being and click on create So in case of ultimate edition, we don't need to go to the Spring Initializer website, which is start.spring.io. Within the editor, we get the options to select the dependencies and ultimately generate a project. Now the project is loaded. I'm closing all of this. If I expand this source directly, there is main and test. Inside main, I have the application.java. Inside test also, I have the associated JUnit test class. Under resources, standard stuff, the static and template directory and the application properties. Now, if I go over here, I can just right click and run this. Or I can use this buttons to run this class. Let me do that. If I scroll to the right, I can see that this particular Spring Boot application is up and running. Now I don't have any endpoint, so I'm going to use a controller over here. I'm stopping this application. Right click over here, new Java class, naming this class as demo controller, adding the annotation rest controller over here. I'm just going to add a get mapping with some dummy value return when the application URL is hit. So this is the method I'm adding. By default, if I hit the application URL, it is going to return some text over here. Going back to the Spring Boot application, running the class from here, or I can reuse this launch configuration. Let me run this. The application is started. Let me open the browser, typing localhost colon 8080. We can see I'm getting the response here. So in this lesson, what we have done from IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition, we have created a very basic Spring Boot application and run the same application from IntelliJ IDEA as well.